Hi and welcome to this video lecture on the topic of heat transfer in which we would look at some basic concepts before you actually begin to study the subject and start going in deep on various concepts. Now from the study of thermodynamics uh, we have learned that energy can be transferred by interaction of a system with its surroundings. Okay, So if you have a system so you can transfer the energy to its surroundings or it can also happen vice versa that is the surroundings or the energy can be transferred from surroundings to the system it can happen either ways now these interactions are called work and heat these are the two ways in which a system and surrounding interact with each other in terms of energy transfer with each other now however thermodynamics deals with the end states of the process during which an interaction occurs and provides no information concerning the nature of the interaction or the time in which that interaction is occurring for example you have a bar you have a rod steel rod and you are heating it at this end so the temperature at this end let us say is T1 and the temperature at this end is let us say T2 so with the help of thermodynamics you can only come to know the end states of this heat transfer process or this heating process okay you can come to know about temperature T1 and you can come to know about temperature T2 and you can also calculate the amount of heat the quantity of heat that is being uh, you know transferred from this point to this point the total amount okay so this is what we can find out with the help of thermodynamics now what is thermodynamics not providing us is the time in which this heat is flowing from point A to point B for example uh, by thermodynamics we were able to find out the total amount that was 100 kilojoules okay but 100 kilojoules from point A to point B in how much time I don't know okay so for that we come to the subject of heat transfer okay and also with the help of uh, heat transfer we can come to know about the nature of this interaction we will soon come to know what do we mean by the nature here okay the nature of interaction can be sought from the topic of heat transfer and there is one more thing which can be found out with the help of the subject of heat transfer is that apart from knowing the end conditions we can also find out any condition on any intermediate point between points A and B so you can also find out condition of the system or condition between two end states at any intermediate section or at any intermediate position of the system okay so these are the benefits when we analyze a particular heat interaction or energy interaction problem with the help of the subject of heat transfer okay now the objective of this uh, subject is that we are going to analyze the various uh, heat interaction processes as different modes of heat transfer okay so that would come under the nature of interaction so now we would be studying about the modes of heat transfer the writing is going off a bit that is modes of heat transfer what are these modes we will soon come to know about that ok and in this video we would be stressing upon so, uh, some you know important questions S and those important questions are first what is heat transfer so we would throw some light upon 
what do we understand or what do we mean by this term heat transfer okay then we would throw some light upon how is this heat transfer okay how is the heat transferred now when we talk about how of heat transfer we would be studying about the various modes of heat transfer okay so now you have an idea what we understand by modes okay and the next point that we would hit upon is why heat transfer is important now this is not a very important question to hit upon if you are you know preparing for uh, some competitive exams but yes it is definitely an important question if you want to actually elevate the level of knowledge for this particular subject okay